I was born and raised in Indianapolis, so uh, coming here in Quincy was, you know, not much of a change for me. Grew up with the Midwest values, so I've come to uh, appreciate that over the years as I've kind of traveled across the world. I did a fellowship in interventional spine and pain medicine. So what we're able to do in our specialty is offer minimally invasive procedures uh, that can provide sometimes um, not only great relief, but also much safer options than some of the medications that folks have been prescribed over the past decade especially. What inspires me is the ability to offer things like nerve blocks or more complex pain therapies like spinal cord stimulation all of these types of modalities are not always well known within the medical community and also amongst patients. And so being able to talk to patients about options that again are safer and very likely can provide more effective relief in the long term, that's what really inspires me. One of the first things I try to ask patients is not just what their pain level is on a zero to 10 scale, but from a functionality standpoint, what types of things in their life are they unable to do or having difficulty doing. The goal is not necessarily just to say that my pain is 40% better or 50% better or 80% better. The goal is to improve pain and function because within our lives, if we are unable to function, it not only affects our relationships with our spouse or our children from a socioeconomic standpoint, your ability to go out and do the things that you want to do. All of those things combined along with the effects that it has on your mood. You know, many patients with chronic pain are suffering from depression and anxiety. So to be able to kind of identify some of these things that are important to them, meaningful for them in their life, if we can restore some of that function, it just puts them in a better position for success.